Okay then my friends, so we saw some of the basic components that Chakra gives to us in the last lesson, but as of yet, none of this is really that impressive and nothing we couldn't do with just a couple of lines of CSS ourselves. But where Chakra shines is with some of the layout components and also some of the more complex UI components. So in this lesson, I'm gonna introduce you to the Flex component and show you how we can use that to easily create rows of content using Flexbox and basically lay out content on a page. And we'll use the Flex component to create a nav bar for the website as well. So first off, let's create that nav bar component in a new folder, which I'm gonna call components. So any custom components that we make that are not page components are gonna go inside this folder. And then we need to create that file, which is gonna be called navbar.jsx. Now inside this file, I just want to boilerplate a new React component. So I'm just going to use the shortcut RFC and hit tab to do that. And if you're using at least React version 16, which you will be if you're using my course files, then you can get rid of the React import at the top. Now, by the way, I can use that shortcut RFC because I've got an extension for VS Code installed, which is called ES7 React Redux React Native Snippets. So if you want to use that shortcut as well, install that package. But anyway, we've got the navbar component. Now let's embed that into our layout component. So I'm gonna to go to the root layout file, which wraps all of our page content. And I'm gonna sit the navbar component just above the outlet where the page content is rendered. And don't forget to make sure the navbar component is imported as well at the top of the file. Otherwise this won't work. So now we can start playing around with the flex component inside this navbar. Before we do that, I just wanna make it clear that this is not gonna be a tutorial about CSS Flexbox. I do kind of assume that you already know the basics of that. This tutorial is about how we implement Flexbox using Chakra UI's Flex components. If you wanna learn about Flexbox from the beginning, I've got a tutorial all about that, so I'll leave that link down below the video. All right then, so let's start using this Flex component. Get rid of this div and instead replace it with a flex component. Click on this to auto import it at the top. And now this is basically output as a div with a display set to flex. So everything inside this, directly inside it, becomes a flex item, right? So what I'm gonna do is just so we can see this on the screen, give this a background of gray. So gray and then dot 200, so a light gray. Now inside this, I wanna output four boxes. So we have four elements inside the flex component right here. And remember each one of these is now gonna be a flex item. So they're gonna sit next to each other on the page. Now each box is gonna have a width and height. So width is equal to 150 pixels, remember? These are just style props and this is the shorthand. Same for height, I'll say height is equal to 50 pixels. And then also we give each one a different background color. So I'll say BG is equal to red for this one. Now, right here, I'm gonna just output number one. Now I'm gonna duplicate that. So we've got four in total. I'll change this to two, this to three, and this to four. And then they're all gonna have the same width and height. However, the background color of each one is gonna be different so we can tell them apart. So blue, and then we'll say green for this one, and then yellow, for the last one. Now, if I save this, hopefully all these are gonna sit next to each other. They're all gonna be 150 pixels in width as well. So let me save. And we need to, before we do that, import the box component. So save that. And now we can see at the top, the light gray is the background of this element right here, which is set to display as flex. If I inspect that, we should see, we get a div right here and the display flex. And then inside that, each of these is a flex item, just a div. So they're all sitting next to each other on the left, right? Awesome. Now, what we can do is spread these apart a little bit by using different values for the justify content property. Now, the shorthand of that is justify. So this is just a style prop again. And I'm going to set that equal to space around. Oops, get that off. Space around. So if I save that, you can see we get space around each one of these individual elements. We can also use a different one, so space between basically any of the different flex justify content properties um, that you want to use. So we can see now the spaces between and not on the outside edges. We can also use the wrap property. So I can say wrap 
is equal to wrap and also add a gap as well equal to two. So if I save that now and if I inspect, once we get to the width that we specify 150 pixels, if they no longer fit on to that row, they're going to wrap to the next row like so. And you can see we get that little gap as well between each of these items because we applied the gap prop. OK, so then that's the basic kind of flex box in action. Actually, I'll show you one more thing here. You can apply flex grow. So I could say flex grow is equal to one right here. And that means it's going to take up all the available space after it's taken into account the width of these other three. So flex grow is equal to one and it should be much bigger, this green one, which it is awesome. I can do the same to another one. So I could say for this one, flex grow is equal to two this time. And now this should be twice as big as this one because it grows into twice as much space. Save it. And now you can say this is the biggest and this is the second biggest and then 150 and 150. All right. So that's the basics of this kind of flex component and how we use it. Again, I'm assuming you already know the basics of Flexbox CSS because otherwise this might go over your head. This is just how we implement Flexbox in Chakra UI using this flex component right here. OK, so what I'm actually going to do now is comment this out. Now we know the basics and we're going to use this flex component to actually create the nav bar. All right, then. So same as before, we need to start with a flex component. Now, I don't want this to output as a div. I want it to output as a nav element so I can use the as prop and say output as a nav element. I also want to apply some padding to this. So P is equal to 10 pixels. And also we will say, in fact, no, that will do for now. Now inside here, we want some different flex items. By the way, if you can hear a load of noise in the background, it's hailstone in light mud. That's the problem. Anyway, we want on the left of the nav bar a heading. So we'll use a heading component for that. And we want to display this as an H1. Now remember the default tag for this is an H2. So we have to say as H1. And inside here, the site title will be Dojo Tasks. All right, so let's spell heading correctly. Now after that, on the right, we want a few different things. We want an avatar eventually, which we'll use a box for to begin with. So this is going to be for the avatar. And it will just be the first letter of the person logged in, M for Mario. Later, we're going to use an avatar component, but we're not going to do that just yet. We will apply some styles to this, though. So we'll say BG for the background color, and that's going to be gray.200. And then we'll also give this some padding, which is going to be 10 pixels. All right. So later on, we'll replace that with an avatar component. Next, I want a text component, and this is going to be just the email of the person that's apparently logged in. So we'll say Mario at netninja.dev. And then finally, I want a button component. We've not seen this yet, a button like so, and that's gonna say log out. All right, so we have these four items, which are now flex items inside this. Now the default behavior is that they're all gonna sit on the left. We need to import a couple of these things, the text and also the button, like so. I think we've got everything else. If we preview this, now we can see everything sitting next to each other on the left, which is fine, but I'd like to make it so that this sits on the left and these three things sit way over here on the right. Now, how do I do that? Well, I could use a spacer. So I'm gonna use a spacer right here and we need to import that component like so. And what that does is say, okay, between this component and these three components, I want you to take up a load of space. So push all of this over to the right and this stays on the left and in between we just have loads of space. If I save that, we can see now all of these are on the right hand side, okay? Now then, what I'd like to do is align these items inside this nav bar so they're all kind of central in the vertical direction, if you like. So they all sit at the same line. So the way I can do that is by using align items. This is like the opposite of justify content. Justify content justifies things in the X direction, align items kind of justifies or aligns things in the Y direction. Now I want them all to be central. So I can say center like so, and now they should sit centrally like that, okay? Now what I could do is add some spacing between each one of these items right here by using a gap property on here. So I could say gap is equal to, I don't know, 10 pixels or something like that. Save it. And then we can see a little gap right here. Awesome. I also want to show you another way we can do this. 
we can use what's known as a horizontal stack. So that's a new component, and I'm going to say H stack right here. Copy that, or rather cut it, and paste it down here. So now these three elements, or these three components, are inside this horizontal stack. And what we can do is apply spacing just to these three things. So spacing is equal to 20 pixels, for example. And that puts essentially a gap between each of these of 20 pixels. If I save that now, have we imported it? No, we need to do that. H stack. So let me save that and preview. We can see it does pretty much the same thing. But now we can kind of style these three separately from this using this H stack. So sometimes I like to use this instead. You can also have vertical stacks. This one is a horizontal stack. All right. So that's looking pretty good. We have this nav bar at the top now, basically styled. What I'd like to do is just style the button a little bit. Now I could add individual style props like the background, the text color, etc. But notice how we have hover effects as well. It gets a bit darker. Instead, we can use a different prop, which some components in Chakra UI accept, and it's called color scheme. So we can use any color from the palette that Chakra provides us with. So I could say the color is purple and it's going to use the purple color scheme for the button. And now you can see it's colored it purple, the text is white, and it still gets a bit darker when we hover. All right. So there we go, my friends. That's pretty much it for this lesson. I hope you understand now how we can use this flex component to create these different flexbox layouts. In the next lesson, we're going to learn about another layout component or rather two layout components, and that's to do with grid layouts.